This is the brand spanking new iPad Pro. I got the iPad Pro 11 inch model here and the new magic keyboard that goes with it. Is this worth an upgrade? We are going to find out. And you'll be surprised this is not worth it. For some, it might be, but for many, it might not be. Let's dig in. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ted, I'm a techie, and we talk about anything and everything tech in this channel. And today, I got the iPad Pro, the new release from Apple. I've got the 11 inch iPad Pro, and this one retails about $999. It starts from $999, and the 13 inch model starts from $1,299, the base version. This is the brand new Apple Pencil Pro, and this one costs about $129. And this is the magic keyboard that goes with the 11 inch iPad Pro. And this one costs about $299. And if you're looking at the keyboard for the 13 inch model, that costs about $345. With that said, and before diving in, we'll do a quick unboxing. Okay, let me now unbox the magic keyboard. And that is it guys, the magic keyboard for the 11 inch iPad Pro. I think we got some documentation inside. Yes, pretty much that. All right, so that is the case itself. And this is an aluminum body. And this is a Space gray color, just to go with the space gray iPad. Yeah. So the bottom is kind of a felt material. It it's, feels soft. And the actual hinges and the body itself is aluminum. And the top is also feels soft, like a rubber material. Yeah, the keyboard feeling is great. And this is a glass surface touchpad, just like any other uh, uh, MacBooks. Okay, let me try to put the iPad in the Magic Keyboard. Just open this app, and we need to align these pin connectors with this. So, so yeah, that magnetically attaches into the back of the case. And also, there's 90 degree, and then it's got some angle going. And the keyboard itself, now once I hit the space bar, it recognizes my face ID, and then it opens up the iPad. Now let me bring up uh, notes and try to do some typing. Yeah, the key, it's got some play there, about one millimeter play. And it's good, it feels good. And also the trackpad is typical of a um, MacBook. And this one just feels like, you know, the smaller version of the MacBook Air. Uh, yeah. And to close it, let's see. Close. Yeah, I'm finding it difficult to open it because there's no, there's nothing to hold on to open this thing. So I'm glad to open it this way. Okay. All right. Opening it up is a little bit of a struggle, but you know, nothing to worry about there. And yeah, this looks fantastic. And it does add some bulk to the iPad itself. And I would say, this is pretty much MacBook Air, or even thicker than MacBook Air. 
If you are interested in purchasing any accessories for either the 11 inch or the 13 inch iPad Pro or the iPad Airs, I've curated a list of quality accessories and gears like cases, screen protectors, and things like that. All of them are in the description below, and some of them are affiliate links for your information. And that is it, guys. That's my review of the new M4 iPad Pro. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon so you get notified whenever a new video drops. And also, please leave a comment below. Tell us if you would purchase this iPad or what are the reasons you would skip this. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for joining.